What's up YouTube, MacGyver7 here, and today I'm going to be doing a new type of video that I have never done on this channel before. I'm um, actually going to be attempting to fix my wife's laptop. Um, a couple days ago, our dog jumped on the laptop and actually messed up her LCD display on her HP laptop. So I reached out to a couple people and a couple of my subscribers mentioned a website called laptopscreens.com. I went to the website, found the laptop uh, LCD model that I needed and I was able to order it and it came about three, about three to five days it came here and I was able to get it. So today what we're gonna do, we're actually gonna go through and see if we can actually get this thing replaced. Um, as you can see right now, the computer's completely off um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go through the process of taking off the bezels here and taking off some other pieces here to see if we can actually get this LCD out and put in a new one, all right? All right, guys, so here's my package here. It's in this giant priority mail envelope. The cool thing about this is that the envelope does have some sort of protection, so my screen should be A-OK. -okay. So let's go ahead and pull it out and see what we got. All right, there's that. And here is our LCD screen, and it looks pretty good. Um, it does come with a protective film on it, and it looks to be the right size. Yeah, it looks spot on. All right, so let's go ahead and get this thing taken apart so we can see if we can put the screen in and get this laptop back up and running. All right, from what I've read, the first thing I'm going to do is actually take off the top bezel here. Now, some laptop bezels have a screw in them, and they're hidden behind these hinges here or these soft spots here that actually help protect the bezel from any type of damage when you close your laptop. So for this particular model, there aren't any screws here. So this bezel in theory should just pop right off. So what I've done is I kind of took my thumb and my nail kind of across here at the top just to see if I could pry it off with that. And I did, I was able to actually get it loosened up. So what I did was I have like this little pry tool that I use for fixing iPhones and iPads and things like that. And I went around the edges here to loosen up the bezel all the way around. So once I did that, I was able to then do this and pop the bezel right off. Now, at the bottom here, you're gonna notice there is a gray bar here, all right? So this is made of plastic, so you wanna be careful, it's not metal, even though it does look like metal. Um, but what you'll do is you just simply close your laptop and this actually slides right out. If you just push on it, it pops right out. So this is the first thing you wanna pull out is this piece here, all right? And then after you pull that piece out, then you can then release the rest of the bezel here to get to your screen. So now I have my bezel out and that bottom hinge piece down there out. So now we're good to go as far as getting to the screen. All right, so for the next part, what we need to do is we need to actually get this LCD out. Now, as you can see, if you look here at the bottom, there are some spots here where they've actually put some double sided tape um, just to kind of reinforce the bezel against the LCD so that when you close, open and close the laptop that the actual bezel doesn't pop off by mistake or anything like that. So there's extra protection there. I've actually have some double-sided tape. You can purchase this on eBay, Amazon. If you fix phones, you already have some. So you already know what this is. It's just 3M double-sided tape. Um, it's about 0 0.03 millimeters. It's not that thick at all. It's very, very thin. You don't want thick tape. Otherwise, your bezel will kind of sit off of the LCD. So you don't want that to happen at all. Otherwise, you won't have that good snug fit. Um, but there's uh, four locations for screws. As you saw in the earlier part of the video, I showed you the new brand new LCD. There's four silver hinges that actually have to be screwed in to the actual um, chassis or frame of the laptop. So at the top here, I'm going to locate them. There's one here. Two is number here, number three is here, and number four. So all you do is take a Phillips head screwdriver. I'm using this one here. It is magnetic. Um, it's about 1.5 by 25 millimeter. This comes in an iPhone kit. It's about the same size screw as you would use um, in some cell phones and some other small electronics. So just get a small, uh, really, really small Phillips head screwdriver to get these out. And so you just simply unscrew all of them. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. So let's see, I got one here. Let's go ahead and screw this guy. Also guys, please be careful and don't lose these screws. If you lose it, I'm not sure what you're gonna to need to do. You may be able to find these online, um, like eBay or Amazon maybe, but just keep them together. Um, if you have a magnetic mat, that'd be good too. As you can see, I just dropped one, but I know exactly where it is, we're okay. So again, this is my first ever laptop screen fix. All right, so I got all my screws out, including the one that just fell right here, so I'm gonna get that one out here in a second. So now, if I take my finger, I should be able, in theory, to pull this LCD forward. 
let's see and whoa we can so now underneath your lcd if you have this particular laptop or any other one there's always going to be a connector here this connector pin right here is very important you do not want to destroy this pin if you destroy this pin you pretty much have lost um, use of your laptop LCD. So be very careful when you pull this thing out. Don't get happy and just yank at it. Always know behind it, there's going to be a connector pin that you're going to want to release from the broken LCD screen so that you can plug it into the new one. All right. All right, guys. So what you're viewing now is actually where the connector pin is. So there's a piece of tape here actually holding it down to kind of secure it. And all you do is take like a little pry tool or flathead screwdriver and you just kind of snug it out. All right. So you just push it kind of out and it comes loose. All right, guys, so now that my connector is actually disconnected from the broken LCD here, I could actually pull this out and bring in my new one to actually reinstall it. As you can see, this install is not that hard at all. All right, guys, so now it's time to take this LCD out. And as you can see, it's time to come out. Um, I don't know if you can see this right here is actually where the damage took place that my dog actually jumped on and actually ruined here. And he's looking at me right now like, what are you talking about? But, yep, this is the broken LCD, so I'm going to actually remove this here and bring in a new one. All right, guys, so anytime you're dealing with a new LCD, you want to be very, very careful that you actually don't crack it or cause any kind of issues with it prior to putting it in. So I always kind of put down some styrofoam or a microfiber cloth just to protect the outside of the LCD screen while you're working with it. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to actually flip this screen over. So here's my new one. I'm just going to simply flip it over just like that. All right. So now you can see that my pin is now visible and now all I need to do is kind of line up my pin here that I've actually separated. That's part of the PC and actually just plug it in here and then replace my tape on top here and then we're all snug and ready to go. And I'll do is screw it in. All right, guys. So I have my pin here connected. All right. Everything looks snug. I'm going to put my tape back down. And what I'll probably do is reinforce this tape here in a second just to make sure it stays down. But for the most part, it's in there. All right. And again, like I said, you can take another piece of tape and just lay it here like electrical piece of tape and just put it right here. Just kind of reinforce and make sure that it stays snug. But once you have this actually connected and you have your tape down back over this to keep it on there, um, then you just kind of reverse the steps or repeat the steps you did to actually get this off. You'll set it back up. You screw in the four screws here and then you'll pop back in your bezel and then you put in that middle bar there that covers the hinges, snap it up, boot the laptop up and see what happens. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and do that really quick and then I'm going to bring you guys back to see if everything worked out perfectly. All right, guys. So now that I have all of my screws in, so I have one, two, three, four in. Now, word of advice, when you're putting your screen on. You want to get that first screw in, so always go for the corners first. You can either do this one and that one, or that one and that one first. Always do those two first, that way it kind of gives you some leverage so that you don't have to continue to hold the screen up and kind of prevent you from puncturing the screen or pressing down on a corner of the screen and creating a discoloration, which happens a lot when you do a repair like this. So definitely I focus on either this one and that one or that one and that one. Just do the corners first, then do the other four, okay? And I strongly suggest using a magnetic screwdriver, but if you don't have one, you can go to Walmart, Lowe's, or even Home Depot and get a magnetizer. And this works really well and pretty much will change any screwdriver or flathead screwdriver that you have to a magnetic one. So if you don't own one, you can actually magnetize it by sticking it in here. I kind of do like a swirly motion. So I'll take my screwdriver and go in here like this a couple times. And next thing you know, it's magnetic. So. Uh, it's just a neat little trick. You can go get one at the store or even Amazon has these. They're very expensive and inexpensive. They may cost like five dollars or something like that. So get you one of these if you don't already have one. It kind of makes your life a lot easier, especially when you're handling small screws. All right, so the next part um, would be actually putting on the bezel. So what you want to do first is you want to actually get your double-sided tape. And at the bottom here is where you'll put maybe one or two strips. I'll put like two strips. I'll put like one here and I'll put another one here before I uh, put the puzzle back on. So definitely do that. And all it does, it helps to secure the screen to the bezel so that it prevents any movement from the bezel and it kind of keeps everything secure in your laptop from any type of movement or, you know, when you're on the go and things like that. So when you open and close it as well, so it kind of keeps it all sturdy. So definitely put two strips on um, to cover just both sides. So I'll put one here and here. All right now, so you have your double-sided tape on, you're starting to put this on. 
one thing don't forget and I almost did do not forget to pull off the protective plastic over your LCD if you put the bezel on over top of that you're gonna have to pull it back off again and start all over and it may be a little harder because you have the double-sided tape now on there and it's now touching the bottom half of your display so make sure you pull that um, protective layer or protective screen protector off your LCD first before putting your bezel back on alright guys so now my bezel is back on flush now when you put it back on do not press down extra hard just a little bit of of a light touch this you'll hear it pop back in once you hear it snap in you won't have to put any more pressure down do not put a lot of pressure because you will damage the LCD also at the bottom make sure that you kind of take your finger and run along here to make sure that you have good adhesion with your double-sided tape against the LCD bottom half of the panel um, so right now everything looks good so I'm only left with this last part here where I'm actually just going to slide this in so to do this what I typically do is I'll close the laptop and then slide this up in there so you just simply close the top down being very careful and gentle and just for extra protection I'm just going to stick this piece of um, styrofoam in between there and bring it down now there's going to be a little wire here hanging out you just take your finger and push that back in um, don't worry too much about that and do not tear it it's not something that's excess it is a part of the laptop and you're just going to take your piece here you're actually going to push this in here like so so you just line it up and you're going to stick that in there and push that in okay so i'm just going to do that here in a second so the first thing i'm going to do is going to adjust my wire real quick because as you can see it's sticking out so let's go ahead and fix that real quick all right guys now that i made an adjustment to my wire i can then put it on my uh cover for my hinge and it should just slide right in like that and pop right in there it goes, there it goes. Let's pop that in there. There it goes. Second pop, third pop. Ooh, we're good. All right, we're all snapped in. Now it's the moment of truth. So let's double check and make sure everything's snappy. Always go back and double back check your steps. Make sure my screen's snapped in good. Sounds good. Let's make sure all my snaps are in. You can always take a microfiber cloth at the end and go through and wipe off any excess glue or something that you might have on your screen, which you shouldn't. All right. All right, guys, for the moment of truth, let's see if we did this thing correctly and fixed it and got it back to working order. So I'm gonna hit the power button and it's booting up. I'm gonna take my brush here. Oh, it's always good to have a little brush to get dust off your computer. But looks like oh we have a screen and guess what guys it is now working so it's working great um like i said this is my first ever laptop lcd screen repairs first for the channel hope you guys enjoyed this video i'll have all the links in the description for some of the tools that i use and also a link to the website that i got this laptop screen from it was like literally maybe 49 dollars and 10 dollars shipping so it's like 60 dollars max to actually repair her screen uh, myself and as you can see it wasn't too hard I will say though you may want to double check your LCD connection so once you have your LCD kind of tidied up and screwed in I will turn the computer on just to make sure it works make sure you got the connections between the connector with the motherboard and the LCD correct and if it boots up then you can go ahead and put everything else back on um, but other than that that's it guys i just want to show you guys this um this repair of this hp laptop i have a link in the description as well for the brand of laptop this is and also a link in the description to where you can get laptop screens yourself uh, from this awesome website so thank you all for tuning in and watching please like this video if you enjoyed it please also um, share this video with others as well subscribe to my channel help me to build up my youtube channel to something big and comment below if you have your own repair videos of some laptops you've done or if you have another way that you would uh, prefer doing this um, definitely let me know in the comment section below but that's all i got for you guys today and i'll see you all in the next one peace mm -hmm.